Now let's look at learning unit 5-2. In question number one, an LL bean sweater reduced $30. The sale price is $90. What's the original price? In this case, we're looking in our blueprint, the original price. We're going to call it our variable P. The relationship is P less $30 should give us our sale price, which was $90. Mechanically, P minus 30 equals 90. Keep in mind, whatever you do to one side, you have to do to the other side. Here, we see minus, so we're going to do what? Add 30 to both sides, giving us our price of $120. In question two, Kelly uh, budgets an eighth of her salary for entertainment. I guess she's enjoying herself. Kelly's total bill for the year is $6,500. What's the salary? So looking at the blueprint, the unknown is a yearly salary. We'll call that S as a variable. One eighth of her salary, that's multiplication, should be $6,500 for entertainment. So mechanically, let's look at the steps. One eighth times S equals $6,500. Since this is division, what we want to do is just the opposite. We want to multiply both sides by eight. Whatever you do to one side, you do to the other side, getting us with a salary of $52,000. In question three, Micro Knowledge sells five times as many computers as Morse. Difference in sales in the two stores is 20 computers. How many computers does each store sell? Well, we start with the smallest unit, which is Morse, call that C for computers, but Micro sells what? Five times as many. The relationship, 5C minus C should equal 20. Mechanically, we do the steps. 5C minus 1C equals 20. Well, a 5C less 1C is really 4C equals 20. Now that's multiplication, so we want to do what? You betcha. Divide both sides by four. Whatever we do to one side, we do to the other side, giving us for Morse five, and since micro is five times as many, is 25. In question number four, Susie and Kara sell stoves at Elliott's Appliance. Together they sell 180 stoves in January. Susie sells five times as many as Kara. How many stoves did each sell? Well now, in terms of your blueprint, Kara sells S for stoves, but Susie sells what? 5S or 5 times as many stoves. If you add the relationship together, 5S plus 1S gives you what? A total of 180 stoves. So here's what we do. 5S and 1S would give what? 6S is equal 180. If you see multiplication, what do you do? You betcha. Divide both sides by 6. Whatever you do to one side, you do to the other, giving you S equals 30 for Kara, and 150 or five times as many for Susie. In question five, Pasquale's Pizza sells meatball pizzas for six and cheese pizzas for five. In March, total sales of 1,600 and people buy twice as many cheese as meatball. How many of each did he sell? What were the total sales? Well, in the blueprint, the first thing you want to do is identify your unknowns, meatball and cheese. Meatball is M. They sell twice as many cheese or 2M. But notice now we have a column for price. Meatball is $6, cheese is $5. If you multiply in the blueprint across, now you have $6 times M is 6M, 5 times 2M is 10M. Put them together and the total should be 1,600 sales. So mechanically, let's look at the steps on the right. 6M plus 10M would be 16M equals 1,600. That's really multiplication. So since we see multiplication, what do you want to do? Divide, just the opposite. But whatever you do to one side, you do to the other side, leaving M now with 100 meatball, and cheese is twice as many, or 200. You see, you can check yourself by taking 100 at $6 is 600, 200 at $5 is 1,000, put it together, you're back at, you get it, 1,600 for total sales. Pasquel sells meatballs for six and cheese for five. Total pizza sales were 300 for $1,600. How many of each did he sell? And we've got to get the dollar sales price. Well, in this case, we have meatball is M. Total amount of sold is 300 is the total amount of pizzas less whatever we sell for meatball. In the price, we know that meatball is 6 and cheese is 5. Again, multiplying across, 6 times M is 6M. 5 times 300 minus M is a total of 1,600. Keep in mind we assign the variable to the most expensive to make the mechanical steps easier to complete. So let's look at the steps. 6M plus what? 5 times 300 is 1,500 minus what? 
5 times a minus 1m is fi minus 5m equals 1600. Let's combine the m's. 6m, take away 5 of them, give you what? 1m left plus 1500 equals 1600. Well, since we see addition, we can do the opposite, which is subtraction. Or whatever you do to one side, you can do to the other side, leaving m being 100. Well, m stands for meatball. We had 300 pizzas, so 300 less meatball gives you 200 for cheese. But we can check ourselves. If we took 100 meatballs at $6 plus 200 cheese at $5, that does equal $1,600.